Welcome back to our Magento Mechanics web development course. In this lesson, we're going to cover some more techniques on finding uh, your template, the correct template to uh, change, to edit. And we're also going to show you some more ways of how templates are spit out in Magento. So last lesson, we learned of how we can have in our XML files, uh, there would be all types of um, references uh, we call uh, we call a handle for a specific page. We make a reference to a, to a certain block and we associate it with a template. Um, in this case, uh, I'm going to show you how sometimes within PHTML files themselves, within the templates themselves, uh, we could actually spit out another block. So let's look over here. We've been looking at this page, the new customers page. We added this text a few lessons ago, sign up uh, and save now uh, and start saving. That's over here. But I want to show you if we go a little further into the page, there is a statement, uh, a PHP statement, that says echo this getchild HTML. What this actually does is this is a function, a special function, that allows you to spit out whatever a template has for a certain block name. For example, we're looking over here for form additional info. So let's find this form additional info. Let's see where this is located, what this block is all about, and what the template is. So let's go into our, uh, uh, we're in our app folder. Uh, let's just start from scratch here. We're going to go to design, front end. We're going to go into our base default because that's where all of our layout, most of our layout files are. And we're going to search uh, for this name. So we're going to go find and path and we're going to put in this form additional info. Oh, we have a couple of hits. And this is in capture.xml. This is the ability to have captchas. Um, as you can see, there's a block called form additional info. And it has over here, it adds a uh, JavaScript file and some other information over here. Essentially, this is all uh, the name of the customer form login is right here. This is the name of the block. Uh, but this is, an, I mean, form additional info, I'm sorry. This is where it's, um, where the block is, is created. And over here, we can spit out whatever is supposed to happen. So if it's, let's say, adding a JavaScript file or adding uh, actual text, um, that's a, an example of where it would be uh, the child, uh, the child uh, uh, block. Over here we have another one. We can look up this next one to see persistent that remember me. Let's do the same thing. We'll search for it. Uh, find and path. Let's see where it's located. And here's a little bit more clear example. Over here we have a block uh, called persistent remember me tooltip and there's a template here. This PHTML file. So let's look for that PHTML file, see what it does and we can see how it spits it out. Uh, persistent, uh, remember me that tooltip.phtml. As you can see over here, uh, we have, this is, the, this is the PHTML file. This is all the HTML that spit out. And when we go over here and we echo it out, this grabs that block, finds a template, and spits out everything that we need. So whenever you're looking for a template, it might not just be in the XML file, it might also be spitting it out from another template file. This is a way how to see if it's being uh, spit out. Look for these uh, codes, these commands, get child HTML. Another way of finding out what, um, what your template is located, where it's located, is there's a neat feature Magento comes with. If we go into our configuration in the back end, and we go into developer, um, I think it's over here. Um, in here, we can go to the, into the debug section, and we have to choose a website to go to, not just our default config, and we can go template path hints. We can say yes, that we want to show us hints to where our templates are. Once we save this uh, setting and we refresh the page, everyone else is going to see this also, and it makes our site not look good, but allows you to see where all the HTML, PHTML, if you notice here, this is the Remember Me tooltip is right here, or this whole block area is spit out by this, um, it tells you exactly how to find it. Um, this assumes that you're going into app design. It doesn't tell you app design, but in app design, you then go to front end, default, new age, template, persistent, customer form, login, and PHTML. Once you've finished figuring out where you want to go and where the file is, just click, you just select no so that no one else sees this. Of course, we wouldn't want to do this on a production machine uh, because then people would have a really messed up experience. And now our site is back to not normal. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Hope to see you soon.